Welcome to Electro Online. Our next example or next problem is an underwater gate. Here we have a gate. It is hinged at the very bottom, which is a distance of five meters below the surface. The gate is six meters wide and the water reaches all the way to the very top of the gate so that the gate can open like this. And the question is, what is the torque on this gate with the water on the other side of the gate pushing against the gate? So the way to do that is to go ahead and take a small little strip. And of course, the strip has width W. It is as a depth Y below the surface. And it has a width, well, it's a length of W and a width of DY. And of course, you're going to have a certain amount of force against that. So you can say that the force, which is a small amount of force, is equal to the pressure times the area, which would be, the, would be a dA. And the pressure, of course, is going to be rho gy. That's the pressure at a depth y below the surface. That's for the liquid, the density, g, and then the distance y. And then dA would be w, the width, times dy. And then what would be the torque against that small little strip. And of course, the torque would be relative to the bottom of the gate here. That would be a distance d above the bottom. And so d torque would be equal to df times d. And df is already defined here. So that would be equal to rho g y w dy. And then we have to multiply that times the distance from there to there. Now, the distance from there to there would be the total height minus y. So that could be written as h minus y. And now we have an equation that if we integrate that all the way from y equals 0 to y equals h, then we should have the total torque. So torque is equal to the integral from h equals 0 to, from y equals 0 to y equals h of all the d torques, which is equal to, now it looks like we're going to end up with two integrals. The first integral we have a rho g w h. So we have a rho g w h times the integral of y times dy. Of y times dy, this goes from 0 to h minus, because I have a minus here, we have a rho g, no, rho g w, a rho g w times the integral of y times y. We have the minus, so we have y squared dy, and we go from y equals 0 to h. So we have two integrals to take care of to find the total torque. So the total torque is equal to, that would be rho g w h times y squared over 2, evaluated from 0 to h, minus rho g w times y cubed over 3 from 0 to h. All right, let's continue that over here. So now, let's see here, when we plug in the lower limits, we get nothing, so when we plug in the upper limits, we have h squared times h, which would be h cubed, so that gives us the torque is equal to density times g times w times h cubed over 2 minus density g w times h cubed over 3. Now h cubed over 2 minus h cubed over 3, that would be h cubed over 6. So this torque would be equal to 1 sixth density g w h cubed. And now all we have to do is plug in the numbers that we have and we should be able to find the total torque. So the torque is equal to 1 sixth times the density, which is 1,000 kilogram per cubic meter, times g, which is 9.8 meters per second squared. The width was equal to 6 meters, and the height cubed, that would be 5 meters cubed, 5 meters cubed. And let's see here. So the meters cubed, the meters cubed cancels out. We have meters times meters, which is meters squared. Kilograms meters per second square is Newton. Newton meters, uh, well, Newton meters is the units of torque. All right, that gives the right units. So torque is equal to, uh, we have uh, 1,000 
times 9.8. 6 divided by 6 cancels out times 125. That gives us 1,225,000 newton meters, which is the proper units for torque. And that is how we find the torque on an underwater gate that is hinged at the bottom and has the water pushing against it all the way from the bottom to the top of the gate. And that is how that's done.